Okay, so today I am going to go over some really good tips on how to get targeted Instagram followers and some tips for Facebook as well. Um, this is great for business and this is also good for, you know, whatever type of theme you have of a following. So I have some awesome, really great tips. Um, let me know below. Go ahead and put your Instagram hashtag and I'll follow you guys afterwards or your Instagram uh, URL and I'll definitely follow you guys afterwards. Let me real quick share this into my group. Um, this is going to be one of the last times I do like a business-y uh, public one on my public page. But I was like, this is good for everybody because, I mean, everybody likes to do Instagram, right? Um, give me some hearts if you like Instagram as I'm on Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to share this real quick. And let me know where you're tuning in from. Like, what part of the world are you in the US? Okay, so sharing this on my group, it's Passionate Entrepreneurs Unlimited. And happy birthday, Asion. Um, so I'm gonna share this real quick. Let's make sure it pops up. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Alfonso. It's Friday, yay. Drop your Instagram URL if you want to share it. Okay, there we go. There's my video. Okay, so I'm going to share it. Uh-oh. I'm talking twice now. Okay, there we go. There's no. my video. Okay. Sharing on my group if you want to join it. It's Passionate Entrepreneurs Unlimited. Ooh, how's the weather, Lindsay? Ooh, it's beautiful today. It was like 75 and sunny here. Okay, sharing in my group. Passionate Entrepreneurs Unlimited. Got it already. Okay, there we go. Okay, so some really good tips. This is for targeted followers. You don't just want everyone following you. You want targeted followers for your business or for your niche. So first of all, you want to get niche specific. Like what is your brand or your theme of your Instagram? What is it? Is it, like for example, mine is, well, I do pole dancing, I'm a business coach, so I'll have like quotes all about motivation, business, growth, all of that. Um, and then I also kind of have started a theme for my Instagram. So my brand, I've just changed it. Hey Beth, how are you doing? Oops, okay. So my brand for Level Up With Tia is gonna be like a dark, bold purple and then gold and I have a lot of quotes that are like I try and do every three pictures I do a quote and that makes some type of um, cool organization like it looks good when you first look at a page and so it's white and so all my quotes are white or really light and that's important because when people first look at your page they see the first nine posts and you always want to make those first nine posts look like your brand and what what they're gonna get from following you yes branding I've learned a lot of this and hey if you have any other tips I'd love to share and for people watching okay so first thing when people go onto your page you need to have an updated bio. This is your homework today. Southern California. Hey, I can't pronounce your name, Boobacar. Yes, Instagram. But this is good for Facebook too. So especially if you have a business, um, you wanna be able to tell what your page is all about by glancing in it on it at the first three to three to five seconds, okay? So you want a call to action on your um, business page and your Facebook and your Instagram. Have a call to action, have a website, have it linked with something that says, hey, join my group is what mine currently is. Join my group, Passionate Entrepreneurs Unlimited, and then I have a link and it points down to the link. 
So always have a call to action, you business owners. <laughs> and on Facebook, you should be able to tell within three to five seconds what you do on your business page. So people that you're engaging in groups or whatever, when they go onto your page, they're like, oh, she does business coaching or oh, she does fitness coaching and then they can go link to something or join your free offer. That is super important. This is so important. Give me some hearts if you find this good and if you will implement it. Um, okay, so you want your updated bio to say who you are, what you do, get specific, why you do it, and why they should follow you. So for Instagram, why they should follow you is maybe you do quotes, you do free tips, you do, um, let's see, sales, giveaways, like why should they even follow you? Let me know if I sound all right. This is my new place and it's kind of echoey because <laughs> there's not a ton of stuff in it yet. Hey Maria, what business do you have? Okay, drop your Instagram handles below. I'll definitely follow you guys. And then, so we covered the bio and then the first nine posts, you want them to be like a similar fashion. You want like a theme you want it to look neat and you want always the first nine to have some type of like branding in there, okay? And then hashtags. So hashtags are super key to getting followers and you don't wanna just do all the popular 25 million uh, follower hashtags. You want a good, good diversity, okay? So you want some low, medium, high, and super high. And the reason why you want to do this is if you only do all the high, then you might not get ranked at all. And then if you do just the low, you might not be seen very often. So you want a good range. And to give you like more idea on how to do this, um, maybe about approximately 10,000 you want, um, that's the low. And then the medium is about, you know, in the hundred thousands. And then the high is like maybe one to three million. And then five plus million is the high high. And these don't always rank because they're used so much. That's like hashtag love, hashtag fashion, I think is one. Um, yes, definitely, Samra. Choose a color palette. Canva is super great, yes. I told someone this the other day and they didn't even know about it. I was like, what? I use Photoshop and I started using only Canva because Canva is just so easy and then you can have a theme and then you can have your colors saved. I might even purchase the monthly or whatever subscription because Canva is such a time saver, especially compared to um, Photoshop doing it on your computer. Like it's so nice to do it on your phone on Canva. Yeah, and a color palette. So you can get free um, pictures on Unsplash, PicMonkey, um, what are some other ones that I use? Unsplash, PicMonkey, I mean you can Google and then you can also check if they're, you could do uncopyrighted images as well, okay? So hashtags are super important and you want to get specific on the hashtags. So for example, um, you don't want to just be super broad. If your company is a fitness company, that one's just, you know, easy. You don't want to only do like fitness hash hashtag and uh, motivation, super broad ones. You want to get specific, maybe like a fit boss chick or longer words like, um, what's another good one? There was a really good boss fit chick, there was, uh, what are some other ones? For me, I do not just hashtag pole dancing because that's really broad. I do like PDJ. Only pullers will understand this, but it means pole dancing jade and it's like a thing for pullers. So the only people who hashtag that are pullers instead of just hashtagging jade because that could be anything. That could be um, like a rock, one of those crystals. So you gotta get specific. 
And then you have a good variety. So get 30% of your hashtags to be low, medium, and high. So you kind of diversify it. So do 10 for low, 10 for medium, and 10 for high. Or you only can have 30 if you didn't know that. You could do maybe five for low, 10 for medium, 10 for high, and five for super high. Um, one really cool thing is I hashtagged Mellow Gang in one of my, what do you mean by low and high? Okay, so if you go onto Instagram, this isn't for Facebook, this is for Instagram. If you go onto Instagram and you look up a hashtag, you can see how many people use it. And when you look it up, you can see hashtag boss babe is a really popular one. And I'm actually in her group. Um, hashtag boss babe, I wish I could look at my computer, but it probably has millions of people who hashtag it. So it, once you look it up, oh, I so wish I could look up my phone. Let's see if I can look it up, Instagram. So I know fashion hashtag is gonna be like maybe 200 million, let's see, fashion. Oh, I can look it up. Okay, fashion has 522 million hashtag posts, okay? So you don't wanna use only those super, super popular hashtags because you might not even be seen because so many people are using it. So you might wanna use fashion, let's see, fashion killa with a K-I-L-L-A if you have maybe a clothing line. It has two million, so it's still in the high ranking, but it's not super high. Or if you wanna get specific, say for me, I am a clothing line, EDM lifestyle, that one's pretty popular. If I wanted to put EDM clothing, that's too low because it's only 4,000, that's not a lot. Let's see, so I do rave outfit. Let's see what that is. 134,000, but that one's really popular in my niche for my static threads business. So that one is really good. Um, but you wanna also think in the mind of the user, in the consumer, not in the mind of the business. So instead of me being like, just rave outfits, I would think of, ooh, I'm going to EDC. I'm gonna hashtag uh, EDC outfit. And I'll just kind of give you an example. EDC outfit. That one only had 33,000, but it's probably really popular during EDC. Or EDC. EDC. That's 7 million. So that's a pretty popular hashtag and it's super niche specific. <laughs> yes, you're an old school raver, yes. If you look up my company, staticthreads.com, I make custom festival clothing, woo, and ugly Christmas sweaters. They're fun. Okay, so another way if you have some type of a pro product or a service or you could even be a fashion person is to do a giveaway. Do not do a giveaway that's just for everyone. Like, for example, you don't wanna give away a flight because everyone wants a flight, right? Am I right? So you wanna give it specific to your audience. So for my static threads, I gave away um, a custom outfit because I wanted to get more custom people. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we, instead of just giving away something super broad, like an EDC ticket, that's too broad for me. See, Beth, yeah, you want a flight. Everybody wants a free flight, right? You don't wanna give away something that everybody wants. You want it to be specific to your target audience. So I gave away a custom festival outfit. Um, you don't wanna give away an EDC ticket because that's for men and women and younger people. You wanna give away specific, okay? And then to boost your giveaway, you could do an ad. This could be for Facebook and for Instagram. And then there's, oh, what did I use? I might have to put it in the comments, I can't remember. I did a giveaway, giveaway. Oh, this is so good. I'll have to comment this in the comments. But I did a giveaway thing where 
you can post it on your Facebook and then they like it and share it and they get extra points. And then it actually generated the winner based on, like it was a random drawing, but however many points, it could like put that into the drawing and it did it for me. It was really great. I got a lot more likes and posts and followers on my Instagram, um, Facebook, Pinterest, and um, let's see, there was another one, like Twitter. So that was super helpful for, I did that in Christmas. I'll have to comment what company that was. It, it did cost, but it was well worth it. Okay, and then this is kind of controversial to people, but honestly, it's pretty good. Doing those bots, you don't want like a bot that's just going to do random followers and like pay for followers, that's not good. You want maybe a bot that likes and comments targeted hashtags and targeted people and then if you wanted to pay a little more, that communicates with them as well. So like sends out a message automatically. Um, this is kind of salesy when it, when it shows those messages, but I've heard they're really helpful. I have a bot for my static threads and at first it was really, really, really good. And I was getting lots of likes and followers and sales. Um, but I haven't been posting on that Instagram as much. So I haven't been getting as much engagement. And so you gotta keep up on that as well. You can't just hire a bot and then not do anything. You have to still comment and post and put really good content. And let's see, some ideas for good content, this is for everything, is you want um, content for your followers, not just a 10% discount all the time or something like that. You want targeted, you want to give them good feedback and knowledge, maybe some reviews and have it scheduled like to kind of a theme. It's nice when certain Instagrams have like Women Crush Wednesday and they have a shout out every Wednesday or maybe a quote day. Every Friday there's a nice, happy, fun quote. So it's really good to have some type of schedule and it keeps your um, followers engaged and they look forward to it and also doing it in specific times of the day is also helpful and it helps the algorithm um, there's also apps that you can download that will help give you specific times um, for scheduling your posts like oh Friday at 5 p.m. is really popular so do that um, I like to do buffer I haven't been the greatest at it, but Buffer is a good app to use and you can schedule your posts and do it at a specific time. This is great for business. Um, Planoly, oh yeah, Planoly, I did look into that. Um, and Hootsuite, yeah. Okay, and you guys, I'm not gonna continue to do um, these awesome, this is a little awesome content, right? Give me some hearts if you think this is really helpful. Um, my thing to give you homework to do is to do your updated bio, get specific on it. You could even take a screenshot and if you're in my group, I can give you good feedback on that. If it's specific enough, um, if it's too long. Yeah, go ahead and you know take a screenshot and share in my group. Later.com, okay, I haven't looked up that one. I'll have to look at that one. Okay, and then you could always do, join groups, like uh, message groups, and you don't want a ton of people. This gets overwhelming. So have like five to 20 people tops, and you can like, like and share um, the posts, but you want it to be niche specific. So for example, my static threads business, I only want to be with like EDM and festival things, and maybe like some influencers in the, festival scene or my coaching business I would only want like women in like coaching businesses or a niche or like hmm 
boss babes, maybe people that have their own business that are, you know, empowerment for women, that kind of thing. They're, we're all in the same niche. We don't want to like have my two businesses in the same pod. We want to have specific and actually get engaged and try to give feedback and comment. Um, another tip is definitely, this is huge. Um, I really hate the unfollow follow thing, but with those bots, it is helpful. But I personally have grown mine without any bots, my level up with Tia one. And it's because I'm giving content. I'm giving like tips and quotes and I'm staying consistent. Um, and I'm also engaging with similar like-minded people and I comment and I don't just comment hearts and I don't just comment like an emoji. I actually write a comment. It's nice to actually get, you know, like a full sentence. So, and also like communicate with them. So don't just put, I mean, hearts are great, but it's nice when you actually get to know them. Okay, what does this say? Do, okay. Okay, even though you don't have a business, you'd like to end up with one in a few months. Um, I wouldn't do a bot now. Mm -mm. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's so great. You, you wanna engage with people and don't, you wanna actually connect, be human. Don't be a bot where it sounds like you wrote that to everybody, like beautiful, cute, fun. Like say, oh, that was so fun. I really liked this. Be human, okay. Yeah, of course, Beth, I root you on. And then I wouldn't use a bot until you have like the business and like your, everything all set and you have the business and you have like a call to action. But I would start doing these themed posts. I would have who, what, where, why, like what your Instagram is about, follow you for what, follow you for your fitness journey. Fitness journey is a good word to use. And then hashtag fitness journey might be really good. Let me look it up. Oh, before and after is good. Let's see, hashtag fitness journey. Ooh, okay, so that one's 14,000. That one's one of the higher ones. Um, let's see, fitness journey, ooh. You could do Fitness Journey 2018. That's a low. It's 9,000. Anything under 10,000 is pretty low. Or anything under mm, like 100,000 is kind of low. Yeah, okay. But do low ones as well. Some of my low ones I do, um, hmm, that's been good for me. Mellow Gang, no, that one's pretty high. A really cool one is I got really engaged with Mellow Gang, hashtag Mellow Gang, it's for Marshmallow. And one of my posts, it got on the, what is it called? The algorithm for growth in the Explorer. And I got like almost 2,000 likes from this one post. And it wasn't even like, it was just an image, but I, I tagged similar like-minded businesses and I tagged um, the hashtags Mellow Gang and then I also like gave a tip or something. Anyways, that one was my best post I've ever had. It was under 2,000 likes and it had, oh, it said, oh, sh I should totally look that up. Should I look it up? Static threads. I had a super engaged post and I got sales from this too. I think it was like, drop your favorite emoji below if you like mellow gang or something like oh it was tag a friend if you if they love mellow gang that one was huge i got a little under 2000 likes i got like 60 comments or more i can't even remember that was months ago though i haven't really been able to get like that great of a post again okay so we did just to follow up the bio the hashtags a giveaway is a really good way. Um, always engage with your audience, give really good comments, likes, all that, be specific. A bot is actually really good if it's targeted. 
Um, also live videos. I actually am not a huge fan of live videos yet. I will be doing them in the future on Instagram, but right now I really like Facebook because it stays and people engage and it gets around like ranks better. Um, and plus I haven't been consistent with live videos on Instagram so people don't know I do them. So if you start doing live videos on Instagram, get consistent, let people know ahead of time, post on your stories. Um, posting on your stories is huge and you want this all to be very niche specific. You want it to be consistent. Like if you do a quote every day, do a quote every day. If you keep it fun, keep it engaged, ask the polls are really fun. I've always got really good feedback on polls. Um, I also participate in a lot of people's polls. I think they're fun. So that's also really good and that's a new thing. Also, you can hashtag your stories now and that's kind of been big. If you do that, it'd be nice if you had like a call to action, like follow me or something. Okay, I think I've done everything. Let's see. I had a lot of notes. Feel free to like and share this. This is some really good content. Um, this is stuff I've learned in courses from, you know, just trial and error and a lot of different people's feedback that I combined together and what I've found works best. Okay, also hit the explore page. Um, if you guys know what this is, hit the explore page and get engaged in certain hashtags. Oh, I knew I, I wanted to cover this. So you've got to check the red flagged hashtags. This is a thing. So right now, woman <laughs> is red flagged. So you don't want to get, I'm not sure if it still is, but this is pretty recent. Woman is, hashtag woman is red flagged. So that marks poorly on the algorithm because it was being used in inappropriate ways. So I hope that goes away, but you can look up your red flagged hashtags. Just look online. Okay, so I think I got it all. Definitely feel free to rewatch this if you tuned in at the end. This is really great for businesses. Oh, last one. This one's really good and I need to do this ASAP. I have two of the, I have two of them done, but you know those little circles at the top? How do you find a red flag? Uh, yeah, I think you just have to Google it. I just heard woman is, let's see, I'll look online. Instagram, hashtag red flag. Yeah, I don't know. Five Instagram red flags. I think, I, I looked them up and I found them on a blog and they had like a list of them and they were really weird. Like why, like woman was one and there were some weird ones. You're like, why is this? Anyways, let's not go there. Okay, I'm running out of juice. So the last tip is, you know those new circles at the top? I really wish I remembered what it was called the little like stories and then you can highlight, highlight them on your top of your Instagram. Definitely do that, okay. And a tip for this is you go into, oh, I wish I could use my phone. <laughs> I'm using my phone to take the video. So I have, pick like four or five things that you post a lot about and name them on your highlights. I have tips, quotes about me, offers and like travel, so those are mine for level up with Tia. And then you make a cover photo, you make them all the same, get a really cute background, you can just download a wallpaper or take a screenshot, keep it very simple. And then what I do is a picture, I Googled it and I make sure it's transparent and do an icon. So for my travel, I did plain, icon PNG on Google and then I saved it and I put it on, I used a, what was it called? Fonto, I like Fonto. It worked really well, it's an app. And I took that image, 
and then I put it on the wallpaper and then I chose five different ones for the five different topics and it's kind of weird you do have to post it to your highlight on your story yeah great Cynthia thanks for tuning in so definitely feel free to share tag your Instagram below and I'll definitely follow you mine is level up with Tia okay so you do that cover photo for each of the highlights and then you do have to post it on your story you know it's there for 24 hours a thing I would like to do is hey I'm doing quotes and so I did a quote wallpaper and then you put a quote and then you can highlight it so you go back into your story and you can highlight it and save it on a specific highlight and then you can just add and it, let it accumulate um, so those are some really good ideas I'd love if you guys definitely want to join my group I will be doing I do a lot of these lives that are more business focused but I thought since this one could be for anyone not just business I might as well share it on my public profile and it's um, passionate entrepreneurs unlimited this is for entrepreneurs business owners that kind of thing and I give even better content than I share on my public profile. And also, I'm just gonna announce, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, my niche is all things marketing, growth. I'm, I've been an online marketing for seven years and I've been growing businesses for seven years and I've done everything, blogging, Pinterest. Um, I'm really good at website design, design, graphics, a lot of things. Courses, landing pages, Facebook ads, all things marketing. So now I do business coaching for passionate entrepreneurs. That is key. I actually don't want to just help any entrepreneur that doesn't really love their business. I want to dive in with someone and help them grow their business that actually loves what they do, that they're passionate about, because those are the people that are willing to push and invest and work hard and I do push you to grow and give you homework every week it's very intensive and it pushes you to grow and if you are interested in that DM me um, if you want to just you know next steps I do not take on anyone I kind of see where you're at in your business and if I can help you and how before I take on any people and I am taking on three more one-on-one -on -one business coaching clients for the month of June. All right, well, have a fabulous day. Definitely like and share if you love this and my entrepreneur group will be in the comments if you wanna join. All right, have a great day. Happy Friday, bye.